Hi, my name's Tiffany, and this summer I'll be working and living in Blind Channel, a remote community on West Thurlow Island, complete with a marina, store, restaurant, and more. Come along and join the adventure. Good afternoon and hello, welcome to Monday. It is Bon Voyage Day. Um, <laughs> it is currently 1.08, so I worked this morning, uh, finished my last training session with my replacement. Hilariously, the, one of the keys <laughs> that we got for her did not work, so that was a fun little situation to deal with, but I think we're all good now. I have a GoPro in my pocket, um, <laughs> and I've packed up pretty much everything. I think I'm gonna end up having an extra reusable bag because I can't fit this camera into any of my current bags without worrying about it getting wrecked, which is totally fine. Um, so I'll just have like my water bottles and my wallet and stuff in there, so that's all good. Bed is made. The only thing I really have left to do is pack up my food. Uh, my friend is picking me up at quarter to two. So in about 10 minutes, I'm gonna start to pack up my food. I have some up here and I have a lot more downstairs, um, but I just wanna leave it kind of to the last possible minute because he's picking me up at quarter to two and then we're meeting the boat at four. So the longer it can stay in the freezer and as cold as possible, the better, but I mean, it's all, frozen and it's going in a cooler bag so it should be okay but i'm like a little panicked but also very excited and i'm feeling like really gross i had mcdonald's which maybe wasn't the best call and also it's really warm and i've started turning off my fans because i'm not gonna have them on while i'm gone obviously so it's getting real hot in here but i think maybe what i'll do is i'll go downstairs for the next little while and until it's time to start packing <laughs> uh the food oh excuse me and um yeah, I got my, my socks to wear. Unfortunately, because I'm an idiot and I didn't know that it was going to be super nice today, I um, didn't keep like my runners out. I only kept my blundstones out and I need to wear two pairs of socks to wear those because they're a little bit big on me. But, you know, it is what it is. Anyways, try to get my desk like, oh yes, wait. Try to get my desk as clean as I can <laughs> for when I return. The only thing I didn't get to do that I would wished I could have done was wash my sheets, but I guess we'll do that when I get back. So I'll grab my socks, <laughs> put my GoPro, I guess, back in my pocket, and the lens cap for this, and my phone. <laughs> These shorts, I like them a lot, but they suck because, oh, and I need to bring this down because I don't want to find that slight residue of dairy in um, <laughs> two months' time. Um, <laughs> I like these shorts, but they suck because they have back pockets that aren't actually pockets, which as everybody knows, or <laughs> most ladies know is the worst. But yeah, so I've got this little stack here. It's just socks can go there. And then my backpack is here, my store stuff, my stuff and my clothes, and then my cooler which we'll be packing shortly. So yeah, come along. I'm, I'm not concerned. And also I was like a little bit concerned about getting everything in my friend's car, but we thought we had to pick up groceries for uh, one of our bosses, but we don't. So I think it should be okay. So yeah, like I said, I think we'll get chill for a bit and then um, start throwing everything in the freezer, getting ready to um, peace out. <laughs> Alrighty, and with that, there's my life and a lot of my food for the next two months. I am dying, it is so hot, my friend's about to pick me up. This is probably the heaviest thing, hilariously, because it's all my tech, it is super heavy, followed closely by that um, thing with all my frozen food in it, because like, food heavy. <laughs> and then that tote, and then these two aren't too bad. But yeah, I am super melting, I am just gonna throw the camera in this bag, and I am G2G, aka good to go. So I will either see you along the way now or I will see you in Blind Channel. We could drive along an ocean reflecting the sun or make a bed of green atop a wide open scene Under a canvas of blue I would draw ever nearer to you To feel the dew on your skin That is how it would begin For summer is for falling in love Stay out late until the 
Before the day is dead But maybe the heat of today Could keep even winter away So I'll remember your life Cause nothing ever changes the fact That summer is for falling In love da -da 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 -da. Summer is for falling Alrighty, hello. I just got to Blind Channel. Well, like probably like two hours ago. I've been socializing, dealing with things, kind of unpacking, but not really. But I just came into this house because this house was the one I stayed in like two summers ago or two falls ago. I'll maybe try to link it, but they just did a bunch of renovations. So I thought it'd be fun to look at it together. So this is the living room with like the beautiful view. Nothing here has changed. Um, obviously they're still working on it. This is, used to be an office, but now it's now the dining room. English is hard. You can see that they're still cleaning and working on it. Around this way is a bathroom. I don't, maybe it's been upgraded. No, it's the same. <laughs> it's a surprise as to what's changed. This is the kitchen, which I just love. This kitchen also, triple sinks. It's amazing. And this just whoops around i love it anyways in here is it locked they moved the washer and dryer this used to just be the pantry so this moved from downstairs or upstairs to here and then this way there is the gym in here um how do i get in there oh other side <laughs> i don't know what i'm doing i don't know why that's there oh new flooring that's nice so there is a hot tub and a sauna. It's so nice. And then this is a new shower, I think. Yeah, it's a little shower in here, which is nice. And then over yonder, oh, oh no, come back, come back, come back. We'll go back this way, I'm watching the bow strap. Um, over here, this used to be the dining room and now it's a bedroom. Okay, it still looks like it needs a little bit of love, but oh, I think that's a king size bed. That looks so nice. And imagine like, look at these views. Imagine waking up to this, amazing. Okay, let's go upstairs because they said that there were some changes upstairs as well. Close that behind me. These are new floors too, I'm pretty sure. Obviously, as you can see, it needs some cleaning. <laughs> and up we go and like all the amazing art is everywhere. I love it. This is Anne Marie's art. She was one of the original founders. Okay, so we'll go into this room first. Oh wow, this is so nice. This floor, amazing. There's a bed here, a bed there, and then you can see they've put like new blinds here. Ooh, I think they've redone that deck as well. Yeah, because I'm pretty sure you used to be able to walk all the way to the end. All right, so close that back up. 
this is like such a drastic transformation, I can't even tell you. And then this <laughs> toilet used to just be beside the bed. So now there's an actual bathroom here. Like this door did not exist. This wall did not exist. This is like so nice. Okay, and then apparently this has changed too. Oh, 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 this used to be like that big. That is so nice. Oh my goodness. Wow. And a nice big sink. This used to be the sink here. This is amazing. Oh my God. I want to stay here. And then I don't think there were any changes in here. Nope, just as it is, which I mean, it's, it's a beautiful room. Oh, they changed the flooring here. So nice big soaker tub, bathroom hiding there. Oh, this is new. That's a new counter and now it's a double vanity. That is so nice. Oh, and then like the best view on property, bar none. Like this is amazing, oh my God. Anyways, I'm gonna go now. <laughs> I'm gonna go see if there's anything the chef can make me for dinner because I'm super picky. <laughs> um, so we will see if nothing else, maybe he can just make me some potatoes. I'm fine with that. I did pull out some food um, to make when I got here, but yeah, wow. The changes they have made in this place are phenomenal. Wow, I'm so impressed. Anyways, I will catch you later <laughs> oh dear i got some sun today it's because my sunscreen was packed i'm being a little bit quiet because people are sleeping but i got my room from last year which is like so exciting because i dragged that dresser from a different room into this room and i also switched the mattress on this bed from the other one because this one's more comfortable <laughs> but this is my favorite view just out here and up to the like hill with all the trees i love it also, I can really creep out Strudel's mom because that's her cabin with the lights right there. But I'm so excited. I thought this room was taken and I guess the girl who was in it didn't like it. So she went to um, a different room. So I am so jazzed. I am still so hot. It has just been such a long, sweaty day. I came home. I dropped my stuff and I was like, okay, I need to bring my store stuff to the store. So I did that and I was like, okay, I'm going to go drop the gator off and I'm gonna go to the share bear and then I ended up like, well, maybe I should go to my bosses to see if they want me to start tomorrow. They did. And then as you saw, I went and checked out um, the new, I think it's called like the Founders Villa, AKA um, Edgar's house. Wow, again, just wow. But then like every time you come in, you get a free dinner your first night. So I was like, well, I'll go over because my bosses said they were gonna go and I knew that uh, when Sharon and Hans were going. So we went. I went over while I was sitting there. Uh, my breakfast buddy texted me and was like, hey, wanna go for dinner? I'm like, I'm already here, come down. <laughs> and so she's like, okay, I'm coming down. And then she brought one of the other girls. And then my friend who came in with me came down too. And there ended up being like eight of us at the table, like basically everybody except for my other boss, his wife and their kids. <laughs> and like, we just had like such a good time. We were there for hours. Like we got there at 6.30, my watch has died. I I think it's like nine or after nine like we were just there the whole time it was so nice everybody this year seems so chill which is so great because there have been some drama filled years and then like i said like the cherry on top i have a double bed there are only two double beds in this house and i got one and i'm so excited and like i said because like this is exactly how i set up this room last year so <sighs> i'm so jazzed i'm so excited I'm not getting days off like I hoped for. I hope I get like one day off before I had to start work, but they're like, we need you. <laughs> so nine o'clock tomorrow morning we'll be starting, but <sighs> tonight is an unpacking night. <laughs> and um, <sighs> yeah, maybe, maybe I'll shower. We'll see how I feel. Cause like, <sighs> I'm still gross, but I might just wash my face and that might be good enough. But yeah, I'm so, I'm just, ah, I'm so happy to be back. sun is shining 24 7 because when we're together it feels like we're in heaven if it will get dark you'll be my million stars i know i can lean on you oh you catch me like a leaf falling from a tree if i'll be a shooting star you'll 